going on, man? It's your boy, Creole Cloth, and I'm back with another video, man. Look, if I'm not starting somewhere, I'm not going nowhere. I have to record this intro very quick because I have to go to work. My camera's about to die. I'm in a rush. But this is going to be my review of the Doc Martin Adrian Loafer that I got. Um, I blasted it all over Instagram. I blasted it on YouTube Shorts. You've seen this shoe already. I put it in my last video. But again, it is going to be this shoe. Again, saw these online, fell in love with them instantly. Again, have not worn these outside yet. Um, and I'm planning to start today. So that's why I want to record this so I can go ahead and get the initial feel and then see how it goes throughout the day as I go through work eight hours and stand on my feet all day, see how it kind of plays out. But again, I got these in a size 10. The reason I got a size 10 is because I wanted comfort on the front end. I didn't want to have to break these in and deal with the pain. So I got these as a size 10, even putting these on initially, they fit but obviously they're a little too big. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go this first day without it just to see how it feels. But again, if it becomes too much of an annoyance just because I could slip out a little bit, I might put an insole in here just to kind of make up for that space. Again, got a size 10 in these. Um, I'm typically like a nine, nine and a half. But again, I, I just don't have time to break in another Doc Martin shoe. I wanted to see if a size 10 would do me a little bit more justice. And they do feel good without the insole already. So. Again, we'll just have to see how it feels after I wear it after a full work day and see if like, you know, the slipping out or like the falling off is too much of an annoyance and then I'll go ahead and add the insole. Um, but yeah, I had to record this very quick. Uh, I'm going to wear these for like a week or two weeks just to kind of see, you know, what's the, what's the, what's the consensus? Are they comfortable? Are they, you know, stylish? Can I put them on with different outfits, pants, shorts? all those things. But without further ado, I will catch y'all in a week or two with an update on these shoes. the review portion of the Adrian Snapple Hair On Cow Print Loafers from Doc Martens. <laughs> I almost forgot the full name. I left out a word because y'all know me, words are hard. So it's K-I-L-T-I-E. I think that's kill time. But it could be another word, so that's why I decided to leave that word out. But again, this is gonna be the review portion for these loafers, and let me just say this, off the rip. I have a lot of shoes where people will recognize me like, oh, like I like your shoes, like I know what shoe that is, I know what model that is. Like I have a bunch of shoes where, you know, they would get compliments because people know what they are. But these loafers, bro, every time I wear them, I get at least three to four compliments a day. I promise you, like I'll wear them at work, I'll wear them like go to a bar, I'll wear them to go to like, you know, somewhere in a public setting and people will always just stop me and be like, oh, what shoes are those? And I'm like, they're Doc Martens. And the typical reaction is like, oh, wow. Cause honestly, that was my reaction too. Like these are for sure, without a doubt, the best GR release for Doc Martens. And I, I shop their website ever so often. These right here, GR wise, no other one is touching this one. These are so, Fire. I know, I know, I know. I know y'all came here for the review. Let me go ahead and shut up. Let's get into the sizing. So again, as I mentioned earlier in the video, these are going to be a size 10. And the reason I got a size 10 is because I wanted comfort on the front end. 
I didn't wanna to have to deal with a break-in process. I didn't wanna to have to deal with, um, you know, pain, aches, uh, the material here as I bend this digging into my foot. Like, I just want to be able to put it on and be able to walk out the door. I am so sick of buying shoes that have a crazy three month, four month break-in process. Like, I'm just, I'm over it. And if you've been on my channel, I typically wear a size nine, nine and a half. So what I did was I wore it for two full days without an insole and then two full days with an insole. Because I knew that even if I couldn't fit it out right, I had an extra insole. So if it was just crazy and like my foot was coming out and like the shoes were slipping off, the insole would compensate for the extra space in the shoe. So the first two days with no insole, actually pretty good like of course there were some areas like this where you know if i raise my foot in a certain direction like my heel would come out but like the shoe still stayed on like i wore the shoes for two days straight no insole and i had no problems like of course if i like squatted down to go pick something up like my heels would raise out the shoe again as if i walked in a certain manner like my heel would kind of raise but it wasn't like i was flopping in the shoe per se so again, like comfortability wise, sizing wise, like I wore these for eight hours and some days, honestly, close to like 11 hours if like I did something after work, like go to a bar, hang out with friends, like I put some real hours. I'm talking like 50 plus hours in these since I got them and I have no complaints, like at all, like with the insole and without the insole, like these shoes have been comfortable from the beginning to end. But I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself though. So sizing, I believe my true size for these would have been like a nine and a half, but Doc Martens did not offer a nine and a half. So that's why I went with the 10. Again, my foot wasn't flopping in this 10 and like I wasn't able, like the shoe wasn't coming off or anything like that. So take that with what you will. For my foot, the 10 was a better option. The nine, although it would have fit my foot better, I just knew that like my foot would be, you know, rubbing against the side or like, you know, um, the break-in process. Like again, if I'd been here in this part of the top, kind of would have been pressing on my foot. And I just wanted to be able to put it on and have it be comfortable on the initial rather than breaking it in for like two, three months. Like that was my thought process for grabbing the 10 instead of like the nine. And honestly, the turnout has been pretty decent. So this is what the insole looks like. It's just an insole from DMA. It's not too crazy. Like it's not adding extra padding or anything. It has like this slight raise back here, but it filled out the shoe as far as like making my foot kind of fit in the shoe more like on the width side. But as far as length, it changed nothing about it. So even with this insole taking up more space in the shoe and if I wear a thick sock, like I'm still coming out the back of it here. Like my heel still raises if I walk in a certain way, if I squat down, like my heel still kind of coming up some. Not as much without the insole, but it's still a slight raise in the back. But again, I had no problems. Like, you know, 50 hours, you know, split in half. I did so-and-so with the insole and then so-and-so without the insole. Like I really have no problems with the sizing on these Doc Martens. I think I got exactly what I wanted out of this 10. So again, me personally, I went up a full size for these, but if you're somebody that's not necessarily against the whole break-in process, you might wanna stick with your true size, especially if you wanna wear like a thinner sock or like a no sock or like a no show sock, you definitely wanna go with that because I don't think I could wear a no show with this or no socks at all. Like I would definitely be flopping around in there, but I also plan to always wear a sock, so. That's just me. Really can't add too much to the overall review for this because honestly, it's such a great shoe. I really have nothing bad to say about these so far. Like styling, comfort, sizing. Like the only thing I will say is y'all should offer a nine and a half, bro. The nine and a half, I think would have been my perfect size. Like I wouldn't have needed like an insole or anything. I could have just, like worn those as is straight off the like straight out the box like everything so like hey doc martens if you're listening <laughs> you care about what i think um i'm just sharing my opinion um I'm, half sizes would have did this justice but that's it now let's get into styling now i had a bunch of fun actually styling these 
Um, again, if you saw pictures earlier, I'll insert pictures here as well. And I'm just like really, as we move into fall or colder seasons, because it's still hot in Texas, um, as we move into colder weather, I think I'm gonna do a lot of pattern clashing, like, like what I did here with the patchwork uh, beans vest, and then also with the cow print on the front of the shoe, like it just kind of, it's like piquing my interest seeing different patterns be clashed with each other. But the styling wise, like it's fairly easy if you keep it simple. Like you can do it and take it a step further, but I feel like as far as like keeping it simple, keeping it very minimal, like, you know, white t-shirt, nice pants, and then boom, you hit it with a nice, um, you hit it with a nice pair of socks to show, like this can be styled really well. Like I styled this with shorts, pants, lounge pants, sweatpants, um, pretty much every category of pants. I, I think I styled it the Doc Martens with it, and they all turned out pretty good. Like, whether it was covering the shoe, whether it was sitting on top of the shoe, whether it was kind of like on like a high water thing, like every pant that I styled this shoe with, like it turned out pretty good. Like it was honestly such an easy shoe to wear. Like I didn't really have to buy anything or go seek out anything to really um, match with these shoes. So like, like styling wise, it's really a five out of five. Like. This is the best Doc Martin shoe that they've ever put out in this silhouette. Like, I can't explain that any further. Like this silhouette, I mean, this colorway, fine. I guess lastly, what I'll just say is like durability wise, again, put in like 50 hours, I wore these for like four or five days. Um, still in pretty good condition, walking around. Um, I really don't work somewhere where I would put some crazy amount of mileage in these shoes as of now. Um, but again, I'm still outside in public on different terrains, doing different things. And like, they held up pretty well. Like, there's like no major changes to the shoe since when I first got it. I will say up here, I don't know if it's picking it up, but like, since I move here and like, that's where this focus is, it is kind of like creasing, but I think it's adding a little bit more texture to the overall shoe itself. Like it's making it look better as time continues on. So that's not really a call out. It's kind of just like something that I've noticed and paid attention to when um, I looked at the shoe. But again, all in all, really great shoe from Doc Martens. Like I am so impressed. Like again, I saw it on the website and I was like beeline straight to it. I was like, I need that absolutely. Um, and I got it. <laughs> but let me know in the comments, what do you think of this colorway? But also let me know in the comments what other colorways or what other patterns do you think would fit good on the Adrian loafer? Like I'm very interested to see because I think this can be their bread and butter just like their Oxfords and their boots are. Like, these can be that next level thing that pushes Doc Martens to the next level. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> but without further ado, like I always do, I'll catch you on the next one. But I love I love the way you work it. I love the way you work it for me.